Do you believe that science can save us from doomsday? Have you heard of the concept of God particles? Did you know that scientists have conducted an experiment that could potentially predict impending disasters? Sometime after the universe got to the size of a melon, and remember, the universe today has got 350 billion galaxies in it, each with 100 billion stars. Yes. Once upon a time, it was the size of a melon. This experiment, called the Large Hadron Collider, is said to hold promising capabilities. It is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. By replicating the circumstances that gave rise to our world, scientists at the European Particle Physics Laboratory, CERN in Switzerland, have developed the ability to predict potential catastrophes. One of their groundbreaking accomplishments is the construction of the Large Hadron Collider, a massive facility situated in a 27-kilometer circular tunnel along the border between France and Switzerland. Particle beams are accelerated to nearly the speed of light and then brought into collision. The resulting particles are subsequently observed. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, commenced its initial test operation on September 10, 2008. Scientists hold varying dramatic views about this remarkable scientific achievement, ranging from hypotheses about the origins of our world to predictions about its eventual demise. Let's examine the credibility behind this buzz. It is worth noting that this collider has consistently validated numerous theories. In 2012, scientists made a groundbreaking announcement that they had observed a particle responsible for imparting material form to other particles. This particle, known as Hex boson, or the God particle, is an incredibly fascinating discovery. The particle, known as the God particle, is intriguing in several respects. Firstly, it has a fleeting existence, disappearing shortly after its creation. Additionally, it lacks electric charge and possesses zero spinning power. However, the question arises as to why it earned the name God Particle. It is worth noting that God is widely regarded as the creator of our world. Hence, the naming of this particle holds significance. Discovered in 2012, it is believed that the God Particle is responsible for granting our world its material form, adding to its captivating nature. However, there is a viewpoint that suggests the God Particle, responsible for creating our world, also possesses the potential to bring about its destruction. To understand this possibility, let us delve deeper. Prominent physicist in the field of particle physics, Stephen Hawking, has proposed that if excessive energy is supplied to these God particles, it could result in the reversion of matter to its original form. When energy surpasses a specific limit, it has the potential to create a vacuum bubble that will expand at the speed of light and annihilate the physical structure of the entire world. Um, however, experts assert that this scenario is only theoretically possible and practically unachievable with current Hadron Colliders. We simply cannot generate enough energy to enable the God particle to function in such a manner. There is another destructive theory associated with this accelerator. It suggests that the particle accelerator has the potential to create black holes. According to this theory, Black holes could form when matter and energy converge at a single point, and their spread surpasses the speed of light. However, it should be noted that some scientists believe that this scenario is not feasible. Even if a black hole is formed, it will have very little power and will quickly come to an end. Is anyone familiar with the depiction of antimatter destruction in the film Angels and Demons? The LHC has had some success in creating similar antimatter. Although the amount produced is quite small, Almost one nanogram. In Angels and Demons, an antimatter bomb is showcased. The creation and storage of this bomb would require the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, billions of years. The LHC is credited with providing a captivating view of the theoretical validation of a multiverse. By observing and calculating the forces between particles, scientists have discovered various contradictions. That can only be understood if we believe that there are many more universes around us. The Shiva statue at CERN is truly a remarkable wonder. It was gifted to CERN by the Indian government on June 18, 2004, as a symbol of their association with this prestigious organization. The choice of the deity was intended to reflect the parallel between the cosmic dance of Shiva and the intricate dance of atomic particles. Another important fact to consider is that, while the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, 
can provide valuable insights into various destructive phenomena, it is crucial to note that it cannot be considered as the largest and most powerful accelerator in the world indefinitely. Many other countries are actively engaged in making significant advancements in this field. China's Circular Electron-Positron Collider and Japan's International Linear Collider are successful examples of the world scientists' efforts to better understand our world. These impressive achievements are undoubtedly admirable and serve as inspiration for others. In this video, we pay tribute to their dedication and accomplishments. We would love to hear your thoughts on these incredible advancements. Please share your opinion with us. But why stop at just one video? Join our ever-growing community of curious minds by subscribing today. And the best part, it's absolutely free.